Okay, so this deck right here revolves around Barrier, and this card basically has an effect where during your opponent's turn, your set cards can't be destroyed by card effects. So the deck is kind of a semi-little stun deck, and I'll explain the weird card choices at the end of the video.
Okay, so final thoughts on this deck. Now, the reason I'm not running like the Solemn Brigade, even though this is kind of a stun deck and running all of the Solemn cards instead of just one of them would have made the deck a lot better, is because I totally thought I'd be using Divine Serpent Ge or Goo uh, a lot more than I did. And this card has the effect where if one of your cards is destroyed, you pay half your life points to special summon it, and then it does a whole bunch of other things. And it's like a it's a neat little boss monster. I thought, you know, since I'm going to be normal summoning cards, if they do happen to get destroyed, I can bring out Gech, and then they won't be able to really deal with it. Plus, I have all my other stun cards. And if I have to pay half my life points to use this card, I wouldn't be able to run the Solemn cards because I can't be paying all those life points. And I think I only used it in like one or two duels, and I ended up losing one of those. Uh, so, <sighs> the reason I have the Trap Tricks cards in here is because I thought those would be a really good alternative to running the Solemn cards. They were good enough. Like, the Solemn cards are still better because they're more versatile, and these ones are kind of restrictive. You can only destroy a monster if it's been special summoned that turn and activates its effect. Uh, bottomless Trap Hole, surprisingly not as good as I thought it would be considering it was limited for so long in the game. <laughs> I guess there's a reason it's unlimited now, it's it's too slow. Uh, the Mirror Forces were great though. He, that was kind of the best thing with Barrier is letting you know that your Mirror Force cards are going to be safe. Except when I went against Trick Stars because they just completely bypassed by destruction. They I went against one trick star player and they just got rid of my back row like it was nothing. I was like, wow, this deck, hard counter by trick stars, and trick stars are very popular. Not a good deck. <laughs> um, and Black Garden's in here. Oh, I should probably say, I got the idea for this deck uh, from a guy from my Discord server, and he basically sent me a deck list. He's like, have you ever made a barrier deck before? And I was like, no, and this deck list looks awesome. I'm going to make some changes to it though because I don't agree with all the choices. But the main thing in that deck list was Barrier, uh, Divine Serpent Ge, and Black Garden. Everything else is my own creation. Well, not my own creation, uh, my own tech choices. Uh, but I like the Black Garden tech because Black Garden has an effect that rarely anyone uses where you can destroy all plant type monsters on the field in order to special summon a monster from your graveyard with an attack equal to all those plants. Uh, and as long as you're only summoning plant tokens, if you have two plant tokens out, since they all have 800 attack, that's 1600 attack, which allows you to special summon Barrier, who has exactly 1600 attack. Uh, and Trap Trigs Marmalo, which I thought, wow, so such a good addition. This deck, all about trap cards. I can use Marmalo and have my trap holes and crap, and yeah, I don't think I ever actually used it. No, I think I did use it once in a duel that I lost. Because <laughs> so I only ran one copy. Uh, and then I was using Melabranche in order to search out Barrier, which worked well. I was able to search him out with it. Uh, but the trap card's just not as good. Solemn. Here, let me show you what this deck should have looked like. There we go. Now it's better. This is how the deck probably should have been. I also ran Scrap Iron Scarecrow because one of the problems with Scrap Iron Scarecrow is that it's really easy just to destroy where you know, once you know that it's there. And I thought, hey, Barrier can protect it, you know, because it gets set again, because it only protects set cards. Uh, and then I kind of forgot that most decks swarm the field with a crap ton of monsters, so stopping one attack is kind of bad, and a mirror force is just better all around. But I just couldn't bring myself to take it out because I like to run shitty, car crappy cards for some reason. And Polymerization recently came off the ban list, so I built my extra deck around it. I wasn't really using the extra deck anyway, which means I probably could have ran one more pot of indulgence. Uh, and I was able to actually win a duel thanks to the Super Poly, but I probably would have won that duel anyway. It definitely helped me win quicker, though. 